Hi guys, welcome to the new video. I hope you all are doing well. So tax season is here and a lot of people have the question how you will file your taxes and how you can create your CRA account. So in today's video, we will discuss about how you can create your CRA account online. As a CRA account is very important. As you can see, all your tax returns, notice of assessment online and it will be very easier for you for future purposes as well. So let's start with the video. But before I start, I do want to let you know that I make a lot of informational content for students and new immigrants coming to Canada. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that and you will see a lot of informational content on my YouTube channel. So now let's start with today's video. So I am going to divide today's video in two parts. The first part is for people who are filing their taxes for the first time in Canada. And the second part is for people who have filed their taxes before and now want to create a CRA account. The reason I am saying this is because if you are filing your taxes for the first time, you will not be able to create a CRA account yet because you can create the CRA account only after you have filed your taxes in Canada one time. I will explain you why you have to do that. But first begin with if you are filing your taxes in Canada for the first time. So you might be confused if you want, if you are going to file your taxes by a paper application or you will electronically file your taxes. So you can do that both and I can tell you what to do and how to do. So for the first part, you can file your taxes online as well using NetFile. A lot of people have this confusion that you might not be able to use NetFile because you do not have an access code yet. But still, you can use NetFile to file your taxes online. When you use NetFile to file the taxes, you do not need an access code because it is your first time filing taxes. The CRA is going to verify your identity just by using your SIN number and the other tax documents that you have provided them. Now you can take help of any accountant or you can file your taxes online as well. But since it is the first time, you will not be able to autofill so you will have to do all the tax things yourself, which might be a bit complicated for you. So for the first time, I would suggest you to either go to a tax clinic and get your taxes filed or to pay an accountant and get your taxes done from the accountant. Now, the second option that can be done is filing the taxes using a paper application. So the process is quite similar. You will still file your taxes either yourself or by taking help of a free tax clinic or an accountant but you will print out everything your application and then sign it and then send it to CRA by mail. So the address where you need to send it to CRA by mail depends on the city or the province you are living in. So I have put a link in description where you can check which address you have to send the paper application to if you are living in a particular city. So do check that in the description. Now, if you do it online, you might get your tax return in around two weeks time as the online process is much faster. But if you do it by paper, you might it might take around eight weeks to get your return. So I would advise you to do it online, but it's okay if you don't, if there's no hurry, then you can even do it on paper. Now let's discuss about the people who have filed their taxes last year and now want to create a CRA account. I will show you the entire process of how you can create the CRA account. So let's start. So firstly, go to Google and search register a CRA account. Once you do that, go to the second link here, which says CRA sign in services register. Now you can go to my account here. And then you go down and click on CRA register. So you can sign in if you already have an ID password, but to register click here. So the registration page is currently loading. Once it loads, you can validate your identity. So in order to do that, um, 
you need to put in your social insurance number here your date of birth here now this is why it is important to at least file your tax returns one in order to create a CRA account because this information is needed now what you need to enter here is enter the line 15,000 from your 2023 income tax and benefit return so once you have already got your 2023 income tax return or the 2023 notice of assessment please fill in the line 15,000 the amount in line 15,000 here as that will help CRA to vali validate your identity if you do not have the 2023 return then write enter the number from the line 15,000 of your 2022 return in dollars only so once you do that click next and then they are going to ask you a few more details and you will be able to create your CRA account all right so this was the process of making your CRA account online now you must have understood that why you need to file your taxes at least one time before you can create a CRA account the reason is simple that you need to give the information which we just gave in order to create a CRA account now sometimes um, again they will ask for an access code if you by chance do not have an access code you can simply call CRA and they are going to send your access code to you by mail and then you can use that access code and access your CRA account so that part is simple as well now the biggest benefit of having an online CRA account is that you can now apply your taxes yourself by using any online software like TurboTax or HR Block. The, the biggest help would be that if you have an online CRA account, the TurboTax or the HR Block software is going to autofill your entire tax application using your CRA account. So that is much easier. You do not have to fill in everything yourself. It will be done automatically using the autofill feature. So that is the biggest benefit of having your CRA account. But apart from that, you have all your notice of assessments, all your tax returns just under one platform and you can simply log in and check all the information online. So I hope this video was beneficial for the people who are applying their taxes for the first time as well as for the people who are yet to create their CRA account. And if this video was helpful, do like it. Please share this video with your friends and family who are new to Canada or who are yet to create a CRA account as I think that this video will be beneficial for them as well. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel as if you subscribe, I'll make more such videos as I'll be more motivated and it is going to help all of you. So I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye everyone.